This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we have a Burt Tozzoni oven that is not always lighting. Sometimes it lights, sometimes it doesn't light. It seems to be a bit intermittent. So we're going to try a couple things to uh, get the ignition process a, a bit stronger. We're just pulling out these racks. They just slide right out. And then we remove the bottom panel. And I'm just cleaning up this electrode with a small wire brush making sure it's clean. Sometimes I get some carbon deposits on them. I already removed the bottom plate by taking out two Phillips head screws and lifting it out. Just cleaning the thermal coupler and this one had some like scale on it, like a little bit of rust removing that. I'm making sure the thermal coupler wire is in tight into the thermal coupler itself, which is the, the brass piece. It's a nice tight connection. If there's a loose connection there, that can be trouble but this one seems really good. Um, if it is loose, it'd be good to replace the thermal coupler. And then I'm just cleaning with my wire brush the head of the thermal coupler, the brass piece. I'm gonna use a little electrical cleaner to clean the same two areas, the electrode for the spark that starts it, and the thermal coupler, which senses the flame. So both are really important. And then I'll <clears throat> put it back together and see if there's any improvement on the uh, lighting ability. Oftentimes that'll do the trick, just cleaning up the electrode and cleaning up the other part. This thing back here controls the air-fuel mixture and it's like a sleeve that moves back and forth. If you move it more to the back it lets more fuel come through and that can help it to light. So now when I test it, sometimes again it's lighting and sometimes it won't light. Sometimes it's a delayed ignition, which is no fun, because that's when you get like a small explosion. You're like a little bit of a boom, and sometimes the door will fly open, so we don't want that. So, so far cleaning it has not worked. Many times this will do the trick. If not, you can go to the next step, which is to make the air-fuel mixture have a little bit more fuel and less air, and this brings more fuel to the area where the ignition happens problem with that is if you move it to make it too rich or having too much fuel you could get like a yellowish type flame which is not good so I'm removing the bottom panel again the yellowish flame is in complete combustion there's less heat and there's carbon monoxide so we don't want that but in this case we're going to take a six millimeter socket we're going to loosen it lefty loosey we're loosening up this little screw you don't have to take off the screw just loosen it and then you're gonna take the sleeve, the round sleeve, and push it away from you toward the back of the oven slightly, just a little bit, maybe a sixteenth of an inch, tiny bit, and then tighten it back up, and then give it a try. This is gonna introduce more fuel to where the ignition happens, and you're more likely to get a positive uh, ignition or start of your oven. And <clears throat> you just have to check <clears throat> to see if that's working and that you have uh, not very much yellow flame. You want a nice blue flame. If it gets kind of yellowish, then you have to reverse the process and pull the sleeve towards you. So we're gonna try to dial this in through trial and error. So we have good ignition, just started it up. Flame looks good, nice and blue. A little bit of yellow tinge is okay. Just don't want a lot of yellow. So that seems to have helped. It gave us a nice fast ignition. And in the subsequent testing, I'm just gonna put the panel back in, get the heat back off, putting the panel back in. Subsequent testing, I was able to get um, ignition every time. So this one was just being starved of fuel and I allowed it to have more fuel by moving the sleeve back. I tightened up that, that six millimeter nut and I'm just putting the panel back in. I'm gonna add the two Phillips head screws that hold it in place and I'll put in the racks and we are done. So moving the sleeve back and forth may take a little trial and error to, to dial it in. In my case, I moved it just about a sixteenth of an inch, and it allowed me to have a nice blue flame and 100% ignition. So that's all needed to be done. It's just making the fuel mixture a little more rich, which brings more burnable material, more fuel to where the spark is, and that gives you more likely to have ignition. So just testing it over and over, we, we get it 10 out of 10 times. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this helps you. 
and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance. Thank you.